This is why the government of the city of Amsterdam has decided to honor you with an award. The Amsterdam pin, which is given to people who devote their time to society or display heroic behavior. If freedom could sing a song, the Iranian poet Ahmad Shamlu once wondered. It is well known that the Iranian authorities tried to kidnap and hurt Masi Alinejad. Nothing pleases me more than the fact that they failed. We all know why they want to hurt her. If I were a religious fanatic, I would also hunt down anyone who prefers the world's poetry and literature to reading only one holy book. If I were the head of a regime based on fear, I would also want to silence the most courageous people standing up to me. If I were a misogynist ayatollah who thinks that, is, that it is a sacred duty to tell women to shut up, then I would most certainly attempt to eliminate the woman who has rebelled against oppression since she was a young girl. The woman who, through her journalism, her writings and speeches, has been relentlessly attacking the regime for decades. The woman who has been the powerful, the powerful voice of a generation that strives to achieve what should have never been questioned in the first place, not only in Iran, but worldwide. Complete equality and absolute freedom for women. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Masi Alinejad back to Amsterdam. And of course, a special welcome to Masi's husband, Kambis Farouar. To ton <laughs> and to tonight's audience, let me explain why I am so thrilled that Masi is back in Amsterdam. In 2021, the Bali organized a festival for free thinkers and invited Masi to speak. The Bali also invited Mohamedou Oltslai, who is here also with us tonight. There he is. <laughs> who spent 14 years unjustly detained in Guantanamo Bay. Mohamedou was denied a visa and could only attend online. But now Mohamedou is living uh, here as an Amsterdammer. And he speaks Dutch. <laughs> And he is spreading his message of tolerance amongst our city's youth. And now Masi is back, so we can persuade her and her husband to stay here as well. <laughs> so hopefully you can inspire the young people of Amsterdam with your free spirit your courage, and your deter determination to fight for women's rights. But I realize it would be selfish to keep Masi only for Amsterdam, because she sh should focus on her work in keeping the world's attention on the struggle in Iran. On the 16th of September last year, Masa Amini, a 22-year-old Kurdish-Iranian woman was beaten to death by the morality police for not wearing a headscarf properly. Her death sparked one of the largest waves of protest since the founding of the Islamic Republic, 
and Masi Alinejad is one of the most forceful spokespersons for this women-led movement. Although, of course, she was already a women's activi rights activist and vocal critic of the regime long before Amini's murder. This year, we commemorate with sadness that it has been exactly 40 years since the compulsory hijab was written into the penal code of the Islamic Republic. Masi has resisted this law from a very young age. Her rebellion against the regime, not surprisingly, led to an arrest and a sentence that was fortunately suspended. During her career as a journalist, Masi kept on calling the regime's leaders to account, reminding the people of their corruption and abuse of power. Since Masi has been living in the UK and the US, she has been an important figurehead and a source of inspiration for women in Iran and around the world. Dear Masi, when I said we want you to become an Amsterdam, I was partly, partly joking, only partly. <laughs> My biggest wish is not that you should stay in Amsterdam, but that one day you can see your parents again. And see them in a free and democratic Iran. Where boys and girls can play together again. Where youngsters can dance together and make music where women can show what fantastic hair they have or choose freely to wear the hijab. If freedom could sing a song, Masi, you sing the song of freedom and we hear you. You are a great inspiration to many women and men in Amsterdam, especially members of the Iranian and Persian community here. And this, this is why the government of the city of Amsterdam has decided to honor you with an award. The Amsterdam pin, which is given to people who devote their time to society or display heroic behavior. It is not usually awarded to... Get used to it. Well, get used to it. <laughs> and let me just finish. It's not usually awarded to people outside the Netherlands, but for you, we are really honored to make an exemption. So please come. that I'm going to invite you to my beautiful country, Iran. And I will come. You're going to love Iran. Thank you, Netherlands. Thank you, Amsterdam. That means a lot to me, not just because of me receiving that. I believe that this is this is a gift to Iranian women. This is to, to brave Iranian women. I actually made the whole world to hear their voice. And you don't know why I got, yes, I dedicated this. I dedicated this to many women who lost their eyes. Many mothers who lost, yes, many mothers who lost their children. Many people who deserve to have a secular democracy, who deserve to have a mayor, who deserve to have government to appreciate them. The reason that I got emotional, because I want to see this in my own country. 
When you actually mention that, you have the dream for me to go back to Iran. I was looking into you know, the audiences, and I know that this is the dream of millions of Iranians to be together and be appreciated for what they have been doing. I dedicate this and tonight to the people of Iran, and thank you so much for making my night, the, I mean, best night ever here in Nevada. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.